Christopher John George was born on February 25, 1931, in Royal Oak, Michigan, to Greek immigrants John George and Faisley George. During his childhood, his father worked as a traveling merchant. With his father, he traveled on sales trips to areas like Akron, New York City, Chicago, and St. Petersburg. Three cities in the United States are St. Louis, Memphis, and Detroit. Vaseline was born in Athens, Greece, whereas John was born in Thebes, Greece. His father enrolled in a Greek school rather than his usual school when he began to learn English so that he would not forget the Greek language. George didn't learn English until he was six years old because his family exclusively spoke Greek at home. That's when George discovered his passion for performing. I went to a Greek school. They acted out Greek tragedies and read Greek poetry. He and his family relocated to Miami, Florida when he was 14 years old. He worked for his father hauling trucks between Miami and other places along the East Coast after receiving his driver's license. Georgia enlisted in the United States Marine Corps, USMC, on October 13, 1948, at the age of 17 in Jacksonville, Florida. He lied about his age on his employment application, putting his birth year as 1929, and he spent the majority of his adult life with her. He grew up on a Miami coconut farm and went to Shenandoah Primary School and Miami Senior High School. He ran track and played soccer, baseball, and soccer at school. He used to hunt crocodiles in the Everglades when living in Florida. He enlisted in the Marines for three years and served an additional year before asking for a reasonable release and returning to Miami. George went on to the University of Miami where he got a bachelor's degree in business administration from the School of Business from 1953 to 1958. Along with his brother Nick, who was also a University of Miami student, he was a member of Sigma Phi Epsilon. He was discharged from the Army on August 29, 1952. He had an appearance in a rental film for the Marine Corps Air Reserves in the summer of 1976. Before beginning his career, George worked as a freelance detective and in a liquor store in a Miami bar. He worked at two restaurants, one in Miami named Drive Drive and the other in Stockton, California. In karate and judo, he was a black belt. He possessed a pilot's license and worked as a bouncer in heavy restaurants. George was recruited for two years by a buddy who owned a Canadian 110-foot convertible boat that he used to ferry products to the Caribbean. The Marine Corps raised a flag above two Iwo Jima Memorial Tower on May 5, 2009 in honor of his service to the Corps. He worked for five months during a college break at a Stockton Inn, which had been run by his late uncle for seven years and was not allowed to join the Marines. Instead, after completing a career test battery that revealed he needed to work in the theater, he turned around and imitated George began performing in New York City after graduating from college, where he appeared on stage and in television advertisements. He worked for a prominent financial firm before graduating from the University of Miami. In 1981 and 1982, George initially met actress Linda on the set of a fashion show in New York in the winter of 1983. He was the groom, and she was modeling the bride's gown. They rejoined again in 1966 when they co-starred in a separate film called Rainy. They were to reunite four years later in Chisholm, where they had started dating. They married in a Palm Beach, Florida courtroom on May 15, 1970, in an Episcopal ceremony. Casey, their daughter, and Nicholas, his son, was born to them. His big break occurred while he was working as a soccer player at a New York pub, and producer Robert was blown away by his ability to persuade him to begin acting. All of my sons, Moon is Blue Cat in Hot Tin Roof Stalin 17, and Who Fears Virginia Woolf, he learned to act under a toolage of a man in acquired roles and Broadway plays in the popular drama of the time. The small dramas which he studied while studying drama included All of My Sons, Moon is Blue Cat in Hot Tin Roof Stalin 17, and Who Fears Virginia Woolf. When the assistant drama coach secured a 16-week contract in the drama Mr. Parts of Shakespeare and Tennessee Williams' works followed, as did Robert and actor Hugh O'Brien. 
The first appeared on the screen when he discovered a perilous role in a picture. To play a sailor who dies for 30 seconds in 1965. This was his first chance to meet and work with John Wayne, who was to go on to become a lifetime friend. After 62 television appearances for a shaving cream commercial in which he played the young man on Good Morning, Mr. Gray Shave, he won the New York Film Award for Best Commercial Actor. He got his start in the Western film El Dorado, directed by Howard Hawks and starring John Wayne and Robert Mitchum, in which he played a supporting role. Between 1966 and 1968, throughout two seasons and 58 episodes, George portrayed Sergeant Sam Troy, who was in charge of rat control. At the April 1967 Cherry Blossom Festival and Exhibition in Washington, a television series portrayed the deeds of four Allied soldiers who were part of a long-range desert patrol squad in North Africa campaign during World War II, together with other members of the Rat Patrol debuted. Following the ratification of the rats, George appeared in several films in the 1960s, including Tippi Hedden's The Leopard by the Tail, 1968, William Castle's Project X, 1968, and De Villiers' 819, 1969, in which he narrated the documentary. Craig Breedlove in Free Blood, a husband and wife racing duo, runners Craig in Free Love, 1968, discussed their job. He starred with Ben Richards' Immortality picture that starred in the church's ABC movie in September of 1969. The pilot is based on James Gunn's science fiction novel Immortality. Chris also hosted the local Washington, D.C. version of the 1966 Emmy Awards, which were held at the Sheraton Park Hotel in Washington, D.C. On January 4, 1967, while filming the event in Roslyn, California, George and two actors, Justin Tarr and Gary Raymond, were hurt when a jeep rolled over a dry lake as they turned. While carrying something in his neck, George sustained a concussion and back damage. Doctors at California Cedars Sinai Medical Center discovered that his back was gravely wounded, not fractured as they had feared. George and Wayne made friends while filming and would appear in Western films such as Chisholm, 1970, and Train Raiders, 1973. From 1970 to 1971, the film was considered a television series and aired 15 episodes. In 1971, even though the show was canceled, ABC showed the mid-season episodes during the summer. In the 1970s, he maintained his television career as a tourist in several popular series such as O oh, to the Military Legal Advisor, Police Story, SWAT, Charlie's Angels, and Fantasy Island. He played against Jim Brown in 1973 in I Ran Away to Devil's Island. In the June 1974 issue of Playgirl magazine, he again astonished fans by photographing a Playgirl magazine naked. It was eventually aired on the Sci-Fi channel several times. This time, he played Dan August in the television trailer for Green Apple Road, 1970, which was included in the Burt Reynolds-led television series Dan August. He also appeared in the Unrealized Pilot series with Avery Sherber in the television picture Hunts Hall, which was released by ABC in 1971. He presented Robin Hood as an escapologist and Cameron Steele, the owner of a nightclub in it. The animal thriller became one of George's most recognizable pictures, grossing over $39 million at the box office. In 1976, he was set to play Ranger Michael Kelly in the film that gave birth to the autonomous worldwide grizzly, a little-known Jaws Club. In the same year, he appeared in the all-star World War II epic movie as Lieutenant Commander Wade McCluskey. Over the next seven years, he followed up his breakthrough with a flurry of horrific acts, splatter films, and slasher B, including Dixie Dynamite, 1976, co-starring More Notes, Day of the Animal, 1977, City of the Living Day, 1980, Graduation Day, 1981, and Insert Pieces of Ninja, 1981. At the age of 52, George died of a heart attack on the evening of November 28, 1983, at Los Angeles Westside Hospital. 
due to an inaccurate year of birth of 1929 on his U.S. Marines enlisting form. His age at the time of his death was recorded as 54. Even though his death was attributed to rat-infested injuries by various sources during the last two decades, George was a cigarette smoker, a heavy drinker, a heart bearer, and had a coronary bypass operation roughly five years before his death. He was transported to the hospital by ambulance after experiencing chest problems after eating at home with his wife. He later had a heart attack and died at 10.35 p.m., just three hours after being admitted and watched by his cardiologist, Dr. Pearl McBroom. At Westwood Memorial Park, a non-Greek Orthodox Mass was held, and a private funeral was held at St. Northridge's St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church, Wednesday, December 1st. Christopher George harmed himself before dying of a fatal sickness.